Welcome back to another Guggen Cast. Today is the first ever Mukbang Edition, Wing Edition, National Wing Day Edition Guggen Cast. Where the hell did Mukbang come from? What does that even mean? I don't know, but I love it, the word, and Mukbangs used to be popular back in like 2017. So we're bringing Are we like back. gripping this, gri- like digging this out of the grave right now? We kind of are. Oh, They're, gosh. I feel like they've kind of fallen I've, I've never, I, I've never. I'm surprised you haven't. I haven't heard of it. I started hearing about it when, when, uh, when Nate Chat was saying like Mukbang, Mukbang over and over again. I don't know what it is, though. What is it? You just. Annoy people who hate Bro, you. Literally, chewing? just talk and <laughs> yeah, you talk and eat. Talk like this really eat. isn't a mukbang. We're just hungry and it's lunchtime. Yeah. We really want to film a podcast with Hector, so we're just eating. But it's an excuse to call it a mukbang. Anyway, but it's yeah. also National Wing Day. It is na- yeah. not, now. When you're wings. watching this, yeah. no. today, Monday, the 29th, right. is National Wing Day. So, Wing Stop. Thank you for not sponsoring this podcast. But if you would like to send an email over to my man's Maddie, send them yeah. wings. Yeah. So we um. Whoa. Whoa, what is that? What is that one? That was hot. That was really hot. I need more water. This one's the hot one. Whatever this is. Mm-mm. No, this one's way hotter. You're not eating wings. You, you just you don't you're not eat wings. Anything? You know what's crazy? As, as I'm sitting here, I'm like, I don't want to eat any, but my mouth is saying other things. So, like, my mind up. is saying no, but my body, my, my body. body's telling me, yeah, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, you get some. I'm good. You need a plate? No, I'm good. Okay. I'll, 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 sneak, I'll sneak one in there. Hard garlic. Hard. I'm not a big fan of garlic. That I looks know. horrible. That looks garlic. It's not, just too much garlic. That's Parmesan. That's Pretty not barbecue. garlic. Oh, I'm not a fan of Parmesan either. I'm kidding. I am. So we're joined by Hector Rodriguez and our manager, Matt. Hex. Hex. And Optic Hex. And Matt's. And Matt's. If you don't yeah. know who Matt is, Matt is our manager. He's been starring a lot in our videos lately. Mostly us. A little bit like, too much, honestly. Yeah. It's a bit, I, I it's agree. A bit much. It went from the prank on the on <laughs> yeah. the on the truck to them. I mean, you're, when you're there all the time, it's, it's bound to happen. Do, oh yeah, do, 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 I'm an easy target. Uh, There's a question for Wes behind the camera. Do people uh, ask you to take photos with them now? They have before. So it's it's this phenomena that happens with anybody that is on the on the internet in video. They just become this sort of like uh, sideline. I don't want to call celebrities because I just think that we're popular and not necessarily celebrities. Um, but they see something on there and they're like, oh, I know him. And then they, they have this, uh, uh, you know, affiliation with, with Guggen, as they you do. Like they know Matt. Yeah. yeah. And they feel like they, they know you. And oh, when yeah. they start pick, it becomes a problem, though, when they get, when the, when the people watching get super comfortable with, with you and they treat you the way that they treat you. And that's a no-no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to give you an example. I have this, this joke with, uh, with my camera guy where he's only supposed to be there you know, recording, documenting what's happening around. Right, yep. And sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll be like, Matt, what do you think of this? And if you speak something, Matt, there's a rule. You're not supposed to talk in the videos. And that's just a joke. Yep. You know, obviously he's allowed to talk, whatever. But that's a joke that I have with him. But when we show up to events, <laughs> no, no, when we show up to events, people will go up to Matty and ask him a question and be like, Matt, you're not supposed to be talking. I'm like, whoa, 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 have some respect for my man's Matt. Only I, I, I pay him so I have the right to treat him like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which which I don't, but you know, that's that's that's, that's the sort of thing. So you gotta draw the line and be like, listen, well, I am an executive yeah, at no Google one's, it's, Enterprises. It's no one's touched my truck. I was gonna say it's I'm scary good. because like the like you do like you, you do that to your cameraman. Like we like wrestle this guy, like we beat him up, yeah. Vandalize him. Yeah. Like it's really scary. I hope that doesn't happen because Imagine pulling out of your driveway and somebody wants to you're, you're, like, you yeah, oh, can like, we swear in here? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you can say whatever yeah, you want. It's free. I'm not gonna over it. Wes d- Bruce prefers if we don't, but <laughs> yeah, we so do swear. I. We yeah. do a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rob really like when Rob gets on here and we tell him he can swear, he just goes. Wes or yeah, Rob, Rob says like four words yeah. and it's usually like can't say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we miss you, Rob. Yeah, so he just he just landed. He texted me. He's like, "Hey, Matt, just had a baby. We need to go get messed up." He oh, yeah. say, but he <laughs> disguised it as a dinner. Yeah, he was having a business meeting. Yeah, he's yeah, like, he, hey, we yeah. need to have a business dinner, yeah. talk about right. what's happening in the future. But at a place and, where they serve whiskey. At a place where they serve yes. that, that, that good old, uh, what does he drink? Brown water. Woodford's. No, oh, Woodford's. Woodford's. Yeah. Woodford Reserve. It's all right. Not my, not my thing. I don't really love whiskey. No? You're a like Bacardi no. Coke guy, right? I'm a Bacardi Coke guy, but, but that's only because it was given to me for free. And, you know, growing up... Well, not growing up. Like when I was in my twenties, I worked at AIG, the insurance company, and I had a. I was in the private private client group, which means that I managed all of the insurance policies for super wealthy people. And I'm talking about. Let's just say that I handled this one comedian, who I didn't know was this rich, but he had a house in Maui, a house in uh, I won't say the country because that would kind of give it away. But he had co- like his policy on a monthly on a yearly basis was four hundred thousand dollars so four hundred thousand dollars a year for him was spent on his insurance for, the, for his homes for 
everything art jewelry Jesus. like homes the whole nine so that's that's how I, that's how i knew i'm like man i gotta make paper like that so i did <laughs> <laughs> now someone else is doing it so that's yeah. how much your insurance is uh no. No. no 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 i don't have uh i don't have houses all over the wow. place not yet no i just choose not to i was gonna say would you like, I always thought about that. Like, if I hit a big, would I have, would I be the type to have, like, one big house or a bunch of pads all over the place? Well, I mean... How do you feel about that? Um, I'm a little bit... I don't know. I have a... I don't know. That's a tough... I have I have a big house now, so I think yeah. I'm cool there. So, like I said, it's a pool. I, I, I do wish that I would have waited and, and looked for a bigger garage. Because right now I have my boat. For your rig, yeah. I have the, the Raptor. Then I have Judith's g-wagon and then i have my g-wagon and then i have my x6 which Wait, i have, haven't got rid you have two g-wagons one's the one's mine the 2016 and you just got the new one the 2019 well you traded i saw you had again. i want I, i'm getting rid of the x6 which is the best suv ever love that BMW. it's, a, it's the yeah. fastest one it's the fastest one it handles the best out of all of them funny. it's m by far my favorite one but once you got into jude's car like i've never stepped in the world of luxury until i stepped into that car well no. yeah you should see john's new car have you heard about this? What the Panamera? Oh no! Ooh, we can't talk about a six hundred a six hundred six hundred LT McLaren. Oh man! See now, I just blow that. So we have a <laughs> we we, we have a rule here uh, in you know with our friendship, is that whether I get a Lambo or whatever sports car, they're taking to fishing, and that's the rule. I didn't hear about this rule. <laughs> you made the rule. You say, "Can I take the Lambo fishing?" And I say, "Yeah." Like kayak on you top. You take my car. I'll First, take yours. Okay. What, you, what did you get? And what, they can't I'm be that sure spicy. I'm not even sure you know it. It's LC 500. The LC? Lexus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LC, yeah. yeah. It's coupe. Nice. Yep. Hype? Very inexpensive. Yeah. Yeah, very. It's it's not like blow your face off fast, mm -hmm. but it's just comfortable, man. I like the little very inexpensive part you added there. <laughs> yeah. Very inexpensive. Compared to a Lamborghini. Yeah. For people who know, like you were talking, like even like a Gallardo is like pretty expensive. That's yeah. like the one of the older models. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Peric also just made a vehicle purchase. Peric well. also bought a car. Wait, I know the Sprinter, but... I sold the Sprinter. Sold the Sprinter. Get the... Go on. Sold the Sprinter. Um, and I bought a Tesla. Nice. Which one? The Model 3. Nice. Yep. I like that. Yeah. Very, yeah. very... Uh, Not sleek. Yeah. I haven't... I, I don't See, know. See, you got... Uh, Rob Rob would never drive a Tesla, though. He He's, he's all about uh, gas... And kicking ass. <laughs> no, Rob told me that he, if, when Tesla's truck comes out, he's getting it. Yeah, the, the truck. The truck. Also, that's really cool. That, and now it's like I don't think you could pull a boat with an electric vehicle. I heard that. Hundred percent, I bet you can. I heard that you so could pull. I know. That's yeah. what I mean. And then I mean I've seen the the freight liners that yeah. that are like a thing. I don't know. I mean, it it, it, it must it, it, it's gonna have to be like a a, a super powerful like thing. Oh my God! You guys, oh you're God. Go oh my God. you're going through it. Oh my God. For those of you who are listening on wow. iTunes, Spotify, <laughs> SoundCloud, uh, Stitcher, and Google Podcast, yeah. uh, a Gatorade just went yeah. flying across my face, yeah. landed in in John's. Oh, I'm sure they heard it. Yeah, yeah. You guys get the idea. Wow. And I'm just eating celery. Hey, before we go any further, what? We gotta talk about some things. Yeah, the new new. Oh my God! Why is this taking so long? Yeah. Who, who wants? I think John, you should. I would love give us the rundown. Me. So here you go. Show me the flat, the, 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 right okay, the flat to, banger. I got sauce so, so on my hands. I'm giving it. I'm well, giving it. Hot. Wait, hold on. I'm in here. That was hot. That was I'm in here now, boys. Hang on. Do you need a plate? You good? Do you need a drink? I love how like messy this set is dog. right now. Like get you just have like half eaten Can wings. Could you get two waters? No, no, no. Another water for Hector here. Is that possible? Wow. There aren't waters right now. There's no waters. I'm gonna say this. Okay. Too spicy. Really. I'm not even gonna touch that. And that is a professional Mexican telling you that. Mm. I don't need that if you're telling me that. Um, okay, where were we at? Relax. <laughs> I got sauce all over my hands, man. Ah, business <laughs> match. My face wow. hurts. Business match strikes listen, again. We're here creating listen, cool we content. Think, we, gotta, we need to push the out there. The most anticipated bait of 2019, right here, or I guess lure lineup. That being the Goon Squad, hard baits. My left hand right here. We got the flat banger. Mm. It's a juicy mm. little number. Then we got the clutch spelled with a K. Mm. Cause you know it kicks ass, and uh, what color is this? Shotgun Shad. We actually named. We we did a lot of work on these baits, um, from the design to what hooks go on there to the names of the paint jobs, the names of the baits. It's been a long process, but sorry, I'm tearing up right now. That's hot this is the, it is this spicy, is, this dude. Is, this is the recon. <laughs> I, I grabbed the recon before you could say it. But no, oh, we've God. got a bunch of different designs from shallow crank baits to square bills to deep diving to lipless baits. All launching probably by the time this podcast goes out. Yeah. 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 
For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll say it. Yeah, we'll We're say good. it. Okay, good. We if you it. say it, then you're committed right. to it. Exactly. Yep. Thank you. So we've got, did you mention we've got three of each? Three of each. So three recons. Oh, the size-wise. Yeah, yeah sizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got three bangers, which isn't here. We've yeah. got a flat banger, but we don't have the actual regular banger. Three sizes of those. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? It's spicy, <laughs> bro. <laughs> The thing is, is that it, the rub, the rub on it is what did it. Is it, is it, so? it, it just sits this, in your mouth. Dude, look how much that is. That yeah, like, don't eat that. Yeah, what the? I, I, I that one already that's, that's, one that, 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 that looks like deadly. sawdust. Yeah. yeah. You like inhale that and you're dead. Yeah. It, that hits the back of your throat, you're dead. Have you ever tried to swallow a spoonful of this cinnamon? Thing? That's not the hot one. Oh. The, the other one. That one's just Parmesan that's garlic. That's not the hot one, dip. No. You like, you're trying to like one-up us? I was trying to try because I want to see how hot it was, but also... What did you just say? Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of garlic. Me but either. Gar garlic parmesan wings are like... Dude, garlic parmesan Yo, sucks. tell them about the Ned Rig, though. I'm excited about these because, you know, being from Chicago slash the Midwest, where the biggest fish you could ever catch is close to maybe three and a half pounds. <laughs> That's why you throw the Nedleys. That's where you throw the Ned, the deadly Nedley. We missed out on an opportunity there to cut, call these the, the deadly, deadly Nedley. I know. Cat. But it had a Morocco in its ass, dude. Yeah, you no, know, the rattling Ned's rattle nice, too, because it's, it rattles. The Machaca, yeah. the Machaca Neds. Yeah. What did I call it? The Morocco? Yeah. The Maracas? Morocco's. Morocco's a... What did I say? A city. No, you said it right. I said it in the Morocco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Maracas. place in Africa. Here, does, does this help you? Oh, baby. Yeah. That's, a, that's a specialty. John B. has got I a black a belt in drinking Coronas. Yo. Dude, I'm I'm like a sensei. Yeah, I'm like Obi Wan <laughs> Kenobi when it yes. comes to Coronas. Coronas and I like them too. Most people criticize me, especially my friends and family members. They're like, "You like Corona? Corona's the weakest." Blah blah. And I'm like, "Look, you know, extra's pretty heavy." Yeah, I, I I I I don't care. I don't. I'm I, I'm drinking what I'm drinking, and that's You're that. Not drinking to impress anyone, right? You no, need a I'm drinking to enjoy. No, I'm good. I gotta drive. Okay. I gotta drive fast too. So yeah. I need all my abilities. Not that. You know, somebody who's been playing Call of Duty as long as I have, hand-eye coordination is above the above above <laughs> everything else. So, for me to, I'm not saying that I ever would, but I'm just saying that if there was a, a way to test how good you can drive under the influence, like if you put some drunk goggles, yeah, and in a, in a VR setting, I do above any Call of Duty player would do above average. Just hand-eye coordination is everything. So, oh well, I'm so good at games, I'd probably do terrible. I hit the first pole. Yeah, yeah. Well, I love celery. Um, so that was exciting. Those crankbaits, we did that. Crankbaits, the soft plastic. We also have the lunker lugs too. Oh yeah. We've got a six inch and a five inch. This is essentially your go-to stick bait. I've been throwing this a lot, just on a straight Texas rig hook, like a three aught, uh, EWG. Sorry, I'm gonna burp. Do it. I'm dying right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got some really good colors in these too. Uh, I like the lunker log name. Yeah, lunker log. It just makes sense. It is a log that catches lunkers. Right, it's a nice little alliteration. So. Um, watermelon roast flake in this one. What's the color is that? Uh, that's a blue, blue pumpkin. Green pumpkin blue is sexy go. as hell. I also love cinnamon. I've been hyping up on cinnamon a ton. Did you just go in on that? Wow. <laughs> Bro, what is yeah. wrong with you? Why would you do that to yourself? Yeah. That uh, was not. It's not enjoyable. Pass it doesn't me. Taste good either. Pass me one of them carrots. Hey. Bro, carrot him. There you go. Carry me, bro. Here are them carrots. So soggy. Thank you. What else is new in your life, dude? Like what? So you like man? We talked about our projects. What's hey, new with you? What's how about the boat? You, you talked about the boat. Yeah, how's the boat? Yeah, still so, still floating. Still, still good. floating. Good. I've taken it out by myself twice already. Are you serious? Yeah. Which is good because I didn't think that without the guidance of uh you know Rob or somebody that has, you know, you're the only one that called that that picked up my phone when I called you. By the way, so thank you. Oh yeah. Something <laughs> sure. happened. Wait, what? Well, what happened? I couldn't turn on the boat. Or what was it? No. I put him back out? No, yeah, you called me, then I missed the call, and I called you back and figured it out. You were in forward trying to turn the boat on. Yeah. I've done that, though, dude. Yeah, I've, it's very it was the first. It was the first time I'm going out by myself. Yeah. I, I turned it on. Nothing. We didn't unhook the back uh, the back latches. Oh, yeah. So I couldn't reverse, Which and I'm like, what the fuck's happening? Yeah. yeah. So then I turned up the boat, and I tried to turn it back on. I had it in reverse still, so it wouldn't turn on. And I'm like, I call him. He picks up. At, well, Rob picks up finally, and he's like, uh, just put it in neutral. And I'm like, yeah. So I put it in neutral and then we're good to go. Yeah. <laughs> but I uh, I caught a fish on my boat, which was like the the in, the intention the whole time to christen the boat with um with my own fish, um, and we did that. Dude, I now I gotta wrap it. I gotta do the the matte black bashers. I mean, if you picture Rob's original boat, 
wrapped a matte black yeah. with the basher sting. I think that that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna do the the big uh, skeleton bass on the side, and then I'm gonna come drop it off here. Dude, I take back everything I've said. That was one of the hottest wins I've ever had. Well, that was stupid hot. Sure, that one. I did. That one wasn't as hot, dude. That was way hotter. Yeah, I told you. So I apologize if I'm chewing into the microphone, but apparently this is what. It's a mug thing, bro. You have to. It's like ASMR. It's like creepy food ASMR. People that's dig like this. The, shit, that's yeah. like that's what you do. Have you seen the ones? W, I can't even see. Have you seen the ones where like some chick eats a whole lobster and she's just like go, dipping it in yeah, yeah. butter and. Mm. It's and then foul. there's like the naked ones too. Yeah, it gets like weird and the sus. naked the naked <laughs> girls eating. Yeah, like, no, like, no, they're not naked. No, no, like like Trisha Paytas, where you pay, yeah, Trisha, you can pay yeah, to yeah. like watch her eat naked. Like that's a thing. No, it's not. Yeah, yes, it, it is. Got. That's weird. That's Who's, why the like the word mukbang kind of freaks me out. Like, because it has like I feel like it started it in like be, a weird category. Like yeah, that yeah too. it's like it's like it started off in like in the in like the can I say pornographic pornographic category. And then, say anything besides pornographic. Yeah, yeah, right. I don't know why I couldn't say. It. I don't know why I feel like I couldn't say that, but it's basically like weird. He literally had a flashback of every single time he went to one of those sites. Yeah, and that came up with my suggested. What's your favorite site? Uh, uh Guggenbaits.com. <laughs> kind of my yeah, shopcarls.com. Yeah, shopcarls.com. Yeah, shopcarls.com. Yeah, shopcarls. yeah, shopcarls. nope. My favorite. Shout out to my man Ross. Ross is the man. RG Ross Gordon. I love Ross. I'm about to grab if if he the only thing I would change about Ross is his ability to or inability to shoot in frame when he's recording with an iPhone. <laughs> I caught an eight four, the biggest bass of my life, and this dude's like couldn't get in frame. I wasn't. Hey, I wasn't speaking there. of, how's that video coming? That's why he has this making. I haven't released my video because <laughs> I haven't gotten around it. I know, but it's so dope. It's so dope. I want to see it. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's uh, it captures a, a unique perspective on how to get sick in Mexico. You got Which sick everyone, too, right? Yeah, I got sick. Wes got sick. Wes got Wes sick. Was I dying. got sick. Um, uh, got sick? Justin got sick. Justin got really sick. Yeah, but I was the worst. I was in bed. I was. I, I flew from Mazatlan to Phoenix, Phoenix to L.A. or La, uh, Las Vegas, and I was in bed for three days. My family came to visit. Well, That's you were how bad it was. After? Yeah, oh, see, for I three days. Wow. Holy I went to CES to to do an appearance for one of my sponsors, Seagate, yeah. and I was supposed to be playing video games online or on on stream for a while, but I couldn't get I couldn't get out of bed. It was oh, the, I didn't have a fever. I didn't. There was nothing wrong with me except that I couldn't breathe, and there was a cough. There was a, there was no. I wasn't producing any fans, mucus. Dude. I wasn't producing any phlegm. It was just a, a respiratory infection. Did you go to the doctor? As soon as I landed back here in uh, in Frisco, I went to to uh, urgent care, and it was the worst experience too, because this lady grabs a big, a big uh, Q-tip, right? And I've seen those Q-tips before. Oh, bro, yes. Oh, dude, okay? I hate, dude. I hate oh. that. They don't go in your ears. Oh, no. oh they, their intended right purpose is oh. not for your ears. Oh. Okay, it's for your years i'm kidding wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no 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 well that's what they used to like it, back in the day like in the you 90s the swabs, right? no the, they oh, use that they they used to they went they go in for there. sexual for for uh stds uh which are now stis sexual transmitted infections <laughs> not diseases how long ago was it like in the 90s 90s that's wow yeah so they used to like shove that into your into your pee just hole like just like yeah like, like running this, start like, oh, right like, like, like have you ever seen the movie 300 yeah, like Spartacus. Yeah, it's like Spartans. Yeah. Just sha, sha, sha. like the doctor, she like sets up like the table, or maybe it's a he sets up the table and like does a running jump into the with the yeah. I, she pulled out a a, a bow. bow. And, yeah, a bow. And tried, <laughs> anyway, so this lady says, "Is like, well, we're gonna test test you for strep throat, a strep throat or something." And then she's like, "Look up for me," and I'm like, "Okay." And then she's like, "Hold on," and then she says, "Wow." It was the most, I, I was like, I literally, I couldn't think for like 10 seconds because my brain was like, she touched my brain. <laughs> no bullshit, she touched my brain as, as she did. She touched my medulla oblongata, okay, as she was doing that. Um, but it ended up being just an upper respiratory infection that I, I've never been that sick in my life. In my 39 years of life, I have never been that sick. It had to be on like a getaway fishing trip. Even when I almost died. When did you almost die? When I was like four years old, I was living in Mexico. I was born in Texas. In Apostle, Texas, but I lived in Mexico until I was 13 years old. When I was like four or five, I went to the doctor and they said, "Yo, you got you got to remove the, this boy's appendix. He's got appendicitis, right?" So yeah. they did. Gets infected because it's Mexico, right? Um, and then 
like I go through it and it wasn't that it was my tonsil I had tonsillitis so they'd remove my tonsils in the same month false diagnosis like, yeah. yeah like Damn. but you can't sue there because what are you going to sue yeah. for you know like, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sue you for your Nova 1963 <laughs> yeah. Nova <laughs> yeah like, the doctor is like you don't even have to go to school to be a doctor down there you know you just well. yeah you can just be a doctor you, you know how they say like you can be anything you want to be in that's, Mexico it's true, true. <laughs> in Mexico it's true anything you put your mind to yeah yeah anything you put your mind to you can be it's like I don't know, I'm, gonna be a, I'm gonna be a surgeon a brain surgeon at no. that you know so, uh, I'm not very good at this easy Damn. So, so there's a real reason we brought you here oh yes what is the reason so I don't even know this oh you don't know I don't think so oh this will be good Okay. Good. I, don't, so, I don't really know what this is. So, you're topic. a man with a lot of experience. Oh, yes. this topic. You've got some age and some. You mean? I, I'm just like yeah. you've got he some years. You like old. you've got you've you've put in your time. We look the same age, Matt, and That's I am fine. 39. Okay, I'm 33. Wow. Going on 45. Yeah, with Dang. that other kid. You yeah, got another kid. There. Two, oh, three yeah. kids. His pullout game is weak. Weak is. <laughs> I think that's what Matt you know? wants to talk about. All right, sorry. Go I, ahead, this, sorry. That's what I'm, not, I'm not here to talk about me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. I apologize, right. for Maddie. So my friend Alex over here, mm -hmm. he he came to me today and he was like, "Hey, listen, I need some advice. I'm single now. Oh, I'm single now. But the thing is, is obviously we're old men. Our time's a little bit different from whenever. Oh, it's easy for you now. Yeah. So he's talking. He's really wanting some advice on these dating apps. He's hoping to get something yeah, easy, dude. Just show them your follower account and your yeah, bank account. Yeah, but I account. feel like that's not the right way to go. Yeah, well, it, well, it depends. Are you trying to meet somebody to marry or are you trying to have fun? Because I'm going to tell you, what, how old are you? 23? 22. 22. So you didn't have any hit your Jordan year. On your Jordan year, it is a rite of passage for men. I'm just kidding. I was just going to make something up. But When did you get, mar when did you get married? Uh, I got married. I've been with my wife for a total of 17 years. Right? We started dating when we were 20, 21. When I was 21, she was no, I was 22. She but was, but there was 20. no swiping right back then. No, no, well, there was swiping, but there was no, no, not <laughs> no phones to swipe on, you know. What I'm yeah, saying? I got what you're Maddie, saying, Maddie. I got what you're are you saying. picking up what I'm putting down? I'm picking it up. <laughs> um, so it was, so I've, yeah, it's it's different. I can't, I can't even advise you on dating posts like real 20. life human skills. You couldn't, like, oh, yeah, yeah. No, look, no, I, I will say app. this in, in high school i had to go up to a girl and ask her out i i used to have i have i would have to figure out a way to break the ice first yeah we had to do that too yeah well you when was the last time you went yeah. up and talked to a girl because at a bar. you have you have at a bar i've yes. done it at a bar and i've not been in the right state of mind but i have not gone up to a bar or i've not gone up to a girl when i'm like Hammered. not yeah like yeah like i sober sober and just been like having a conversation all right i'm gonna give you the best advice and this is coming from a gentleman of n wealth, knowledge, and understanding. That's, That's me. That's why this topic is brought okay. up right now. Now, I have managed talent in esports for the past 10 years. Okay. So now I'm talking about like internet superstar celebrities, sort of like you. So this fits mm -hmm. you perfectly. Okay. <laughs> it's a game of numbers. Okay. Just swipe right. Swipe right, swipe right, swipe right. It's like fishing, right? You, it's like you're finesse fishing. More you just throw it out there and you just wait. More casts yeah. you make, yeah. Sometimes just, they're gonna be, look, look, you wake up, just throw, just, just imagine you throwing like 15 lines out there yeah. and then you come back to, to, to pick them up. This is your I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about yeah. it right he's now. He's throwing 15 lines I out thought right we were now, gonna, like, I thought the conversation was like going off iPhone. the he dating like lines. So, so you just like go, <laughs> dating app is legit now. Well, it, it depends. It's just what it, is. it depends. Are you trying to have fun, or are you trying to? Because if you're trying to find a nice like girl, then I, you know my my suggestion to every single one of my players has always been: if she's got a Twitter, you can't quit her. And by me, what I mean by that is that if she's in the same scene that you're in, that you'll never truly know. And I shouldn't be saying this uh, because a lot of people have found true love in that currently. But opposed to just like what cloud chasing, yeah, numbers, yeah. which isn't bad either. You know, like if, if, if you're, uh, I'll put it to you like this. Do you go and find out what a, what that nice young lady is like on the inside or are you attracted by her looks? Because men, unlike the pretty women, we just look rugged and rough all tough, right? But if we have something to offer, like I can take you to a nicer place or I can, you know. I don't, I don't want to say this here, okay? So you got to cut this. I swear to God, you, you have to cut this, okay? <laughs> Uh, if you guys are watching, uh, uh, leave a dis leave a leave a comment of what you think that I said in the in the comments down below, and I'll come back and check uh, 
tell you it whether you did it or not. True love is blind. That's what you <laughs> yeah, said, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what do you What do you think, Jonathan? <laughs> what do I think yeah, about your gonna, situation? No, about no. your <laughs> situation. <laughs> yeah, but if you got me, or not, you got me in this situation. Don't you were, blame me not, for this. I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying you were there from the start. Wait, no. you? It was your. What did you have to do with his breakup? <clears throat> I peer no, not my breakup. He peer pressured me into talking to her in high I school. I peer pressured. I've been dating her since high school. Oh, for five years. Brief summary. There's this girl that looked just like him in high school, and I was like, "Yo, that's definitely your sister." He's like, "But we should like, be talking about her, honestly. This is probably not good." Yeah, let's just. Basically, yeah, 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 yeah. No, just, you introduced it. It, it went weird. on. Listen, the weird. whole goal was that Peric wanted his profile put in the description, and like, if I would, I yeah. would say I'm a professional so, angler. <laughs> and then they're like, "Angler, what does that mean?" Ooh, that sounds cool. That sounds so cool. What do you angle? And then you just be like, "I just, I'm, I'm a hunter." <laughs> you know, a hunter. and it's like, "Wow, hunter!" You're like, "No, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm like Cupid." And what do you think about what do you think about like public figure and like the Insta yeah you should bio? yeah one hundred percent yeah listen because that's again it, like it depends uh, again you haven't answered this are you looking to have a good time are you here for a long time not a short time you know why I feel like I'm just gonna like have fun you should play my cards and see what happens I think you should have fun you're 22 it's like it's like it, 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 it's 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 what I tell all my all my players too you can. As, as long as you don't hurt anybody in, in any particular way, you can literally go broke by the age of 30, guilty, and then still make it out alive. Also guilty. You as know, in like, like you go can, broke as in? Both, monetary and, and heartbroken, <laughs> dude. Like you can, you can literally lose all your money by the time you're 30 years old and still make it, especially in this day and age, you can still make something of yourself. Nothing is lost at the age of 30. You can literally f up as many times as you literally want, as long as so you're not there's hurting, time. There's time. as long as you're not hurting anybody. Physically or you know, <laughs> damaging in, yeah. a, in a way, um, for you to try out. I, I would I would try to try to you know explore, man. I mean, you travel a lot. You know, just world world travel. Listen, <laughs> b bottom line is this: you know how you go out and try to catch fish from all sorts of regions. Yep. Same thing, man. Try to find love in all sorts of regions. <laughs> Bam. Wow. Doctor Love, love over here. Doctor Love. What's your, what's your type? Let's uh, let's let's oh, go I know there. His type. Do you? Oh yeah, oh, you yeah. say my type first. One hundred percent. I don't know. One hundred percent. Let's see. One hundred percent. Definitely someone who's younger than you, for sure. Dude, you're twenty, so what? Twelve. Like, no, I'm talking about a year. Not, oh. not, nothing like. Not like not fifteen, like, sixteen. Oh come on! No! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> wow! No, wow. No. Like, I'm talking about. I, like, I'm I was about, about to report you. I don't play that. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I feel. <laughs> He's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. What's like, like, like a year name? younger than you? Yeah. Which one? What's the guy's name from uh, to, to Catch a Predator? <laughs> no. Chris Hansen? Yeah. Chris. Like, <laughs> here's, about the Chris Hansen he's like, ass. here's the pizza. Hey, so why don't you have a seat? Hey, Alex, why don't you have a seat? <laughs> okay, continue. Definitely you're into blonde chicks. Yeah. Not wrong so far. That one's right. The younger one, I don't know about. Not younger. Maybe it's a bad word. Maybe I've, just I've, never, I've never been with an older girl. Ooh, woman. maybe well, older see, woman. See, there you go. Now you. This is the time to explore those options, <laughs> Alex. Maybe you get taught. The ocean's. Bi it's a big ocean. I know. It's. Just, it's. I love this. Okay, keep going. Uh, <laughs> def definitely. You know, definitely, definitely a chick that, I would say probably doesn't like to fish. Yes, I agree with that. I agree a hundred percent because so I hate going. Yeah, I just yeah. nailed that one on that. Nail that. Yeah, like, wow. I hate that. Yep. Um, I guess my other guess would probably be. Definitely someone who's who's not lazy and's got some ambition. Yeah, Nailed that's it. bro. It's, I I got super lucky. That's why I, yeah. I, I I stuck with what what I know. Jude is like the hardest working person I've ever met. I am a late and I I mean she, if if she wasn't in my life, I don't know where the fuck I'd be. No bull. She's I I'm I'm not lazy per se. I just like to work smarter, not harder. You know. Yeah. It's not a bad quality. Yeah. So, so what's your type then? Do you like them? Like them thin, thick? Yeah, definitely has to be under my height. I'm not the tallest guy in the world, so I'm not looking for you know somebody over like five. I don't think eight. you're the tallest guy in the Six, room. Six four. <laughs> let alone the <laughs> big the build, room. large shoulders, the mostly room, like uh, short of the Amazon. Yeah, probably the shortest guy in the room. But yeah, so there's Listen, that. Listen, we're all the same height when we're lying down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 this is gonna be the funniest podcast we've ever made. Like, yeah, this is gonna be. Good. You're, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. You got some amazing advice, Hector. I will yeah. Say. Well, look, 39 years of, of 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 life, man, and I mean life, like fully living life. Yeah. You know, I got wrinkles. I got the crow's feet on my eyes because I laugh so much. Every day, I'm <laughs> laughing my ass off. You know. Yeah. So skinny, skinnier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mm. I don't discriminate. Mm -mm. I don't. Listen, wanna, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something, man. <laughs> 
try to get some meat on the bone. Boy, <laughs> that's that's what you need. Ain't nothing like it. There you go. I'm not saying to give up completely on, on that. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all about how they make you feel and how you make them feel, right? So it's a, it's, it's a relationship. It's not all about you, Alex. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> so, true, true, true. Yeah, but looks do get places, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to say at this point, um, but I... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for stopping for the Guggen Love Line. And we will be back here every uh, Monday at 10 p. No, I'm kidding. Calling for advice. Yeah. Whatever you've, whenever you're feeling. What, what's, uh, so Maddie, you just had another baby. What's yeah, that, number three? <laughs> it's number eight. I got, I got three kids and then I got five Guggens, man. Uh, you know? Well, I have 20, yeah. 29 kids. You're running an orphanage, basically. No, it's, yeah. it's three kids. Uh, all girls. <laughs> All freaking girls, man. It's and all under the age four, of four. That's yeah. the other crazy thing. Like no. three kids, three girls under the age of four. I'll say this, which you don't have kids yet, but just the best thing in the world. Like you, you hundred percent, one hundred percent. And having girls has been like the best thing. Like I, w- I would rather have girls now than guys. I than feel boys. like you probably not to be has to say cynical. that. Were you about to say that? Well, no, no, no. Well, oh, no, not to be cynical. I feel like that mindset might change. What? Like having all girls, yeah, dude. Teens. Yeah, I feel like oh, when it gets in teenage, teens. yeah, I don't, I don't even, I can't, I can't I mean, even. I, t- I tell my daughter every time, I say, that's what freaks me out. Say, like, darling, you're gonna hate me. How old yeah. is when uh, she's nine? Nine. Yeah. I'm like, you're gonna hate me when you turn 13, 14, 15, 16. I am gonna be the most strict dad ever. You're gonna hate me. I just know. Let's make, let's yeah. enjoy our time together now, yeah. because <laughs> they, you ain't getting away with. <laughs> I know all the book, all the tricks in the book. I tell my wife the same thing because. She's my, my wife is super like I don't know she's she's very common sense mm. and she's like well she's gonna have to date I mean you gotta come to terms with that oh. like, no, she, no she's, she's not, not. No. 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 ain't happening there's this <laughs> amazing thing there's called people like Alex Merrick out there in the world nun. you gotta yeah. keep them away from you yeah. you know? yeah. there ain't no swiping right on my girl no the day that I have a daughter is the day I buy a gun that's probably <laughs> simplest way to put it for sure no. I'm the same way man I'll, I'm just at the end of the day and you'll agree with this you are going to raise your daughter as best as you can and hope that it reflects on the decisions that she makes when she becomes an older person. All jokes aside, oh, that's yeah, what... Yeah, 100%. Very I think, true. I, I'm, I'm, I think that you're doing a great job doing that. Yeah. Me, this is way, way past my like, realm of life Alex right like, now. yeah, I just am trying to get my uh, my Bumble score up, honestly. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, you're on yeah. Bumble? No, 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 no or, What is it? Hinge. 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 So many... No. Yeah. I, I, I will, I will so, say this. Now that you've done that, do you understand how many people are going to go make catfish accounts and try to match up? Oh, with it was already discussed. Really? Thanks. This is. But the thing about Hinge, which is cool, was, is I might do it just for a prank. <laughs> it was. It you was have to be in yeah. my location. Like, you could set your locations pretty narrow, and like, I feel like it. it might be, be parking outside. Yeah, but you're believe, with, you're with me, us man. a lot. What here? Yeah. Who says I changed my profile location? Maybe I keep it in one location. I you see you over there just swiping nonstop. Location. My wife's gonna be like, "Why do you have Tinder?" I'm, like, I'm trying to match Alex. <laughs> <laughs> then she's like, "Uh." I'm then not, the questions I'm even not, get more I'm difficult. I'm not gonna ask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna be blonde, brown this eyes. <laughs> you tried them all out? Have you tried all of? Like, is Hinge just the one? I've I I've never I had like a Tinder once for like a week, and I just like downloaded to see. This is do you do you be hey, honest? What do you subscribe? Are you subscribe? Do, I, do I pay to him yeah. for him? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. Oh, you have to. You yeah, you have to. If you can afford yeah. it, you do it. Yeah. Because so like Hinge, like so the thing about Hinge, especially when you're a guy, in my opinion, I don't know. I don't know much about this app. I downloaded it like right when I had the breakup, just to like talk about <laughs> some. Females. Pull it up. Let's see what you've matched with. Let's, uh, oh. let's see this. Make right sure, that, make, sure that you, uh, re, re, make sure that you hit the screen recording. Yes. No, yeah, screen no, recording screen because record. come on. No, no, now, no. I will say no. This is what we're gonna do, Alex. Is it's not up for discussion <laughs> or a debate. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna pull out your phone. You're gonna start recording. We're gonna look at it, and then we're gonna blur their faces out. But we're gonna look at that. Okay, we're looking at. We don't this. need. Okay, how about this? We don't need a screen record it. We, you guys, we could just see your reactions because I don't want to get anybody no. in trouble. I don't want to have any profiles. Well, you're literally. Here. We're we're gonna make Wes's life super difficult. No, we don't want Wes's life super difficult. We could just talk about. No, it. we guys, need it recorded. You guys could be like, oh wow, okay. So. <laughs> The, the, uh, another another thing though is that you have to look at the description because if how they si- if, how about if, if they how sound about this? how about this is way better I will screen record my profile and we can critique my profile let's do that let's do that because that is that is sure are you okay 
<laughs> That's what I was trying to say. All he wants is his description linked in the below in this video. That's all he wants. Well, my Instagram. Here. You gotta go. Yeah. My Instagram is way easier. Dude, no the hint. amount of people who have the, the amount of people that watch your videos that have girl cousins that they're gonna try to hook you up just so they can be a part of your family. It's a good thing because they could they could eat, because think about it, right? You're you're watching this and, and look. If I was younger and I had a cousin, right, that was dating losers, at least now she's gonna be with a nice guy. That has something going for him. And I'd rather have that. Someone that's going to treat a woman with respect, you know, and that's you, my friend. So, record yes. that shit. Let's see it. Okay, how do you do screen recordings on your phone? Uh, oh, upper right hand corner. Upper like right hand corner, swipe down. On the left. Left down. Oh, screen monitoring? No. No. Oh, you need to add it. Oh, uh, you go oh into, wow. You gotta anyway, go. let's move up to the next segment of the show, um, <laughs> which was what? <laughs> We'll figure out your dating you situation. Know, you know, off, I, honestly, offline. though, honestly, I agree. Let's not talk. Let's not get on that. We, we oh, have more. That would have been gold, but it's fine. Yeah. Here, I'll, you, you know, know you, got, you, you, you know what you guys should do. Um, have you heard, heard of the Sidemen? Sidemen, I've heard of it. What is it? Sidemen is a group of uh, UK dudes that oh, yep. okay, yep, started yep. up playing yep. FIFA. I know the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, they did this video called uh, "Real Life Tinder." Yeah. It was amazing. Amazing kind of. You guys should do that. You're single now too, right? No. Oh, you're not no. single at all. No. He's off the shelves. But you know what's not off the shelves? Guggen Bates. Those oh, actually, the they shelves. are. They get... Yeah, they, yeah. They, they are off the shelves, yeah, too. Can't. Shelves too. You know what happened? I went to uh, to Academy to go buy all the Bates. And when I got there, like, the display for Guggen's was, like, all trashed almost. Because... I feel that everybody ran in there and was just like, have you ever seen <laughs> like uh, the, the what is it, Black Fridays oh, yeah. where yeah. people go yeah. into Walmart and fight? I think that's what happened because I looked at all the displays and all the, it was neatly, nobody had touched those baits. You know what I'm saying? They <laughs> yeah. went straight for the good and then just left the Col bad. And collarbones the, were broken for good and baits. Yeah. yeah. You yep. know how that goes. Yep. All right, well, listen, I have a call in six minutes. Uh, so I appreciate you guys uh, having me on. I apologize for not being here on time. I was supposed to be here at 12, but I completely forgot. It's all good. I, I'm, it's all right. I'm hiring okay. an assistant. This was my favorite keep podcast my schedule of all time, done. so thank you. You're yes. welcome. Yeah. It's always a pleasure to pack your own. Yeah, thank you, man. I, yeah. I thought you guys were going to ask me serious questions, but it was good. No. I had fun. No serious Asi questions. Aside from that one no, that therapy that session, I, that therapy session was maybe. Mm. Yeah. I mean, that. I'm ready to go. That's Real life, in, everything. In books hit the, and written hit the, about. Hit it hard. Have you ever tried going to like, I don't know, the library or somewhere to meet a girl? <laughs> What do you do? Do you like pretend? You're I don't know. I think, I think you know what's crazy. <laughs> I can't tell that was serious advice. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Like it, was, it was. It was oh. partly. Jo it was partly joking because serious, that, that's why you use. He took it yeah. serious. So, so like, there's just it's like go to a library if you want to meet a wife. Go to the bar if you want to meet a fling. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I don't think that's the case anymore. And besides, like, if you think about this day and age and the way that that it is, like, you have to be on your A game. So it feels as time. though you are showing true interest. In a non creepy way, otherwise it's like yeah. harassing, yep. you know. So it makes it a little bit difficult. As much as I like to make fun of, fun of uh, all my all my teammates, yeah, you know the the young teammates about them not having the ability to or the social skill to which they do, they proved it to go up to a girl at a bar and talk to them. Like I I also see like the opposite of that where they're like, wow, you're bothering me. You're you know it's borderline harassment. And in the, <laughs> in, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that situation. Yeah, reach out yeah. via my cell phone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this Cougan cast. Anything you want to add? Uh, no, I just appreciate you guys sticking with it and uh, watching us. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to work go. through Peric's uh, relationship life. <laughs> yeah. You should get started on that now. Yeah, you should like, start swiping. There's there's like, a there's a device that actually swipes for you, bud. Oh, yeah. He's already got it, I'm wow. sure. Amazon. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>